Hey guys, what's up? Stark here. And today I'm going to go over how to smooth out your green screen background for better keys. And this is not using any plugins. It's really simple. It's just a sort of a, I guess, three-step process. But I have this guy running right here and this is what it's going to look like. It's not using any trick. I just have a mask going over the original. So it's not like we're doing something in the background and the foreground. It basically only does the screen and leaves the front alone. So let's just go ahead and get started with this footage. Okay guys, so I just dragged out my footage here and this isn't a perfectly lit green screen and the footage is actually not the, the best footage, which I kind of like because um, I know most people don't have, you're not shooting on a cinema camera, especially if you're watching this for tips or anything. So you can see it's it's highly compressed, okay? So kind of like that it is this way because then it kind of works for wider audience and the better your your footage or your actual source the better this technique's going to work okay so how it works is we essentially just we do two keys and then we kind of combine it all right it's it's very simple so what i'm going to do because i'm going to have to be reusing this footage layer a lot i'm just going to duplicate it twice okay we're going to call this guy key 01 all right and then key 2 Okay, so let's just shut this off. And what we're gonna do is just do a simple key light. And we don't have to worry about going in and that's the cool thing, tweaking all the stuff. So what you're gonna want to do is you wanna select two parts essentially. So you're gonna have a dark part and a light part, all right? So we're just gonna select around him, which dark part, okay? And this is not a great key. We could go to the screen screen man you can see okay but we're, we're actually done at this point okay so so we could call this our dark key okay and then we will call this guy our light key okay and then we're gonna go ahead and do key light again all right turn this on turn this guy off and then we will select probably up up here because it's it's lighter. There's almost like this natural gradient going. You can see it's keying this guy out, but that again does not matter. So before we could move on, we also have to invert our mat. Now this is gonna look shocking. So, so we're gonna invert the alpha. Okay, do not worry, this color is not gonna show up, and we'll just copy this and we're gonna do the same down here. I'll do it separately. Sorry. Okay, and yes, this looks terrifying right okay so this is actually what we want but i'm kind of tricking you in a way because what we're actually getting is is this 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 is the total alpha okay so just you're just seeing the color all right so we'll go back to the rgb and then we're going to combine these guys so we'll just call it alpha okay now we're gonna duplicate this guy again then we're going to call this our alpha combiner okay so let's just go ahead and go in here, channel combiner, and go down to alpha. And that's the reason we pre-comp this. We could actually shut it off. Okay. So we want alpha and we're gonna use second layer, alpha source. Okay. And we're gonna steal the alpha from the alpha channel from that one. And we're going to put it into this guy. All right, so now essentially what we have is the inverse of what we keyed. If you're still with me, you can see that it's showing up on there. All right. So essentially what it's doing is it's sort of separating out the dark parts and uh, the, the light parts. Okay, so, or uh, to put it in another word, we're, we're sorting out the crap, okay? And then what we're gonna do is smooth it out by combining it with not crap okay so i'm just going to turn this layer on our top one and we're just going to make a new solid all right and our new solid let's just choose like a general middle of the road between like the dark and the light as you can see here select this guy okay now we're going to put it under our alpha combiner we're actually going to steal this guy all right, turn this off. So what this does is it fills in the bottom part, all right? 
Now, they still have the same... They're still alpha peeking through, but this doesn't matter, all right? Because the next part is essentially what's going to do it. So what we're kind of seeing here is... And you're actually, you're seeing through, it's hard, actually, let's just do this. It's going to be hard to see, like, the actual thing, so, even with the alpha. Anyways, let's go to the RGB, and then this is where the magic will happen, okay? So we'll take this footage layer, our top one, all right? Okay, so now we have our, essentially, I think, I think it's pretty much, so let's just turn on normal, Okay. So you can see these empty parts, all right? But what it's gonna do is, we're actually just gonna go ahead and do add. Okay, so we're gonna change this guy from normal to add, and then boom, it's gonna lighten up all the dark parts and even it out. So now what we could do is just copy the footage layer again, and then what you'll see is that these dark parts are, let me just subtract, they're more even. So essentially what we did was, because we inverted that the first two mats, it's basically creating a hole for the shadows, okay? So instead of getting rid of the green, we're getting rid of the, or the, the, the ugly green, we're keeping the good green, okay? And then we're filling it in with this green layer here to even it out, all right? So that's essentially what's happening. And that's why when you go over, okay, it's not affecting him. Now, one thing to keep in mind, I'm gonna to go to the blue channel, is that this is highly compressed, okay? So again, if you have better footage than I do, if you're using an actual camera, you're gonna have way better results than me. The one thing I want to point out that I did find uh, super neat about this is that if you look at the the VR thing, like like right here, is that it works really well on it too. Okay. Now you could sit there, you could tweak it, especially the keying, all you want, and you'll you could probably get if you select a different area, you might get it smoother or a different um, look. But in general, this is the, the workflow just to do it, just to get rid of that stuff. Now I'm curious on um, how it would look on more extreme cases, which I just, I couldn't find footage of it, but I thought this was a good middle ground just because it's, you know, not too dark, not too bright, so fits that. So cool, guys. I guess the only thing I could say is subscribe if you like this stuff. And I love teaching this stuff just because it's things I've learned and I find it helpful. And as you can see, I'm enjoying just <laughs> playing around with it. So you might get this haloing. It's not a big deal. But now when you go to key, you should get a better, you should get a better, cleaner key and less uh, aggressive having to actually try to key it. Okay. And this is just one technique. There's many, 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 many keying techniques, but this is a good way to smooth out the screen just so you get a more balanced look. So uh, that is all, guys. Thanks for watching. Later.